Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is a personal reading for someone who wanted a love reading. So we're going to get into it here. Um, I have a whole spread I made for you just kind of based off of my intuition. And um, we're going to get into this. If you found yourself led to this reading, then stay tuned. Maybe some information will come through for you as well. And if you want a personal reading, then check out the description below to find out how you can book me. Now let's look at the joined energy between you guys right now. I see that you guys are really grounded. Um, it's like finally you guys feel safe and secure where you're at in life. Um, just in a basic way, you know, you guys are able to provide for yourselves. Um, this fire just represents abundance. It's growing. And um, you're both very focused right now on growing your businesses. Um, I feel like this other person maybe wants to start a type of business. Um, I see that you're both very open-hearted people. You're both... Um, very gentle. I would call this person an empath as well, although I don't think he would go by that. <laughs> I also see, um, you're very focused right now on your heart-based and spiritual practice. And it's just a time where a lot of manifestations and hopes and visions and dreams have gone out to the universe on both ends. And, um, it's like you guys are waiting. You're waiting for something to happen. Um, both of you guys in your personal life. So it's like this kind of calm um, before the storm. Although I don't think the storm would be a negative thing. I just think that really soon it's going to get... It's going to pick up. The energy is going to pick up for both of you guys. Um, so you guys are in a very similar place in your path right now. I find that really interesting. Um, now, his energy... Once again, there's this sign of manifestation. Um, this has to do with like a wish that's being fulfilled. It's like he wants something and um, he's having to be really strong right now through this separation. I get this card a lot for um, people who are in separation from someone that they love, you know. Um, and I see the separation here and um, they're having to pull up their inner strength because they're, there's something they're looking for out in the world. I feel like it's like they're trying to establish their position and um, they've had to leave and they've had to go away to do that. And um, I know I've read, done a reading for you before, so this is something I've picked up on before and it's coming out once again that this is like the predominant thing on this person's mind and in their energy. Like they are thinking about this, they are thinking about how they've had to walk away. And, um, but they're very focused because they feel like they had to leave in order to establish this. So, um, very interesting. Now your energy. Oh my gosh, I got the true love card and then the morning card. So this is really weighing heavily on your heart, specifically at this time. Um, so maybe it's, um, you know, kind of a synchronicity that we're doing this reading right now. I honestly think that, um... You know, this card comes out when this is a true love. Like, if you're wondering, like, am I just crazy? Or, like, do I really, like, am I just, is this just, like, an ego attachment? Is this just a karmic relationship? What's going on? Like, this card's coming out to tell you that, yes, this is a true love. And it says the romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. So, asking you shall receive, you know. This is coming, but... Right now, you're really in this phase of mourning um, what's happened. And um, I'm going to ask, like, you know, what have you been mourning? Just to get a clarification here. Um, let me see. Mm. Okay, so you're, you've been trying to manifest that. I'm going to guess union, you know. You've been trying to manifest... Um, something in this situation and it hasn't been coming through and so you're upset and you're mourning this um but i think this is a reminder it's saying you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality so it's coming something is coming and um <clears throat> i feel some type of communication but i also feel like on the this person's side there's a lot of blocks to communication like there's a lot of blocks 
And um, that's actually the next question we're going to get into. But um, I'm an empath and I'm a clairsentient. And when my voice starts to do this during readings, when I've hydrated, I didn't even practice singing today. Um, it's usually because there's someone I'm tapping into whose throat chakra is um, kind of blocked. And so I feel that coming from the person. <clears throat> and I should have brought my water. <clears throat> but I don't even know if that would help. But yeah, um, I'm feeling this chakra throat block. Does this happen to you or are you, are you clairsentient too? It's so interesting. It's like the weirdest thing ever. But yeah, there's blocks to communication and that's kind of what's holding this back. And I'm seeing, so what are the blocks to communication? Um, I feel like it has to do with this certain season that you guys are both in in your life right now because you guys are both in a huge transition and you're not really feeling grounded you know what i mean like this dude here in this boat he's not gonna try to go reach out and like get some game over here with some person because he's out at sea like he's you know it's, he's unavailable right now he's on a journey and that's kind of what's going on you guys are both on a journey right now and you're moving and really fast and I just feel like it's not a time where either of you are grounded enough to, to be in this communication because it seems like you guys had to go your separate ways in order to be able to, you know, start new projects and, you know, get, give birth to new conditions that's standing out here. So it is a really good time. It's a fertile time. It's a positive time in your life to, you know, set intentions, to make wishes, to move forward. There's a lot of abundance coming in. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But I feel like that might be why this person can't talk and can't come forward because um, they, they don't want to talk about what they're going through. There's like this dark night of the soul kind of vibe coming out of this. Um, they've been in this dark night, this depression, this healing, this, you know, facing their shadow for a little while now. And it's not a time where they're able to come forward and speak. And it's, um, I also think that this what you guys are planting right now these seeds you're each planting it's going to be very abundant for you very fertile in the next coming months and so it's like something you can't really have interference in right now so i hope that clears some of it up um where is he at with everything so with everything that has um happened and transpired between you guys where is this person at with that um so i do have to say that this card, when I was laying out all the cards, I always lay them face down, and this one flipped over. All of them were face down, and this one was just standing out. So, it made me think, first of all, that you've just really been through the ringer with this person. Um, I mean, this card's so literal. Endurance. You've just had to, you've just had to hang in, and you, you keep this fire burning. There's still this fire, you, still this passion that you carry for this person. And I, I do feel like these feelings are reciprocated. I think this person does still have this passion and this fire burning for you. Um, but the thing is, is that they are still learning how to, like, they're, first of all, they're learning, they're finding their truth. Currently, they're, like, in this transition, and I just feel like they're finding their truth. And I know what that feels like, um, I just, I can feel that energy in them where they're, they're, they're finding their truth, and so they're not able to quite stand up for themselves yet. You know, they've been put down and shamed for who they were in the past. And what they're doing is they're trying to let this go. And, um, you know, they're learning how to cl claim domain over their areas of expertise and how to, like, proudly brand. Um, he's learning how to brand himself and how to, like, put himself out there. And um, he's learning that it's okay for him to put... Um, to set himself apart from the crowd and to offer himself up and to be proud of who he is and to be proud of his, you know, unique, his own unique beauty and his gifts and everything he does. And, um, you know, once he gets more grounded in this, he might feel more confident, like coming out and saying how he feels and what he wants. But right now he's just, it's a communication block, you know, and, um, I see that he's he's starting to love himself. He's starting to have this unconditional love for himself just because of this journey that he's been on. It's really um, given him compassion for himself because sometimes crazy shit happens in your life. And 
overall, it's a really humbling experience. That's what life does. It humbles you. It's like the ocean. You know what I mean? I, I'm a surfer. And so there are times when I just feel like on top of the world and like badass when I'm surfing and just like I've got everything under control. And there's other times where the ocean will just hold you down and you'll fear that you'll lose your life. Um, you know, from one moment to the next, sometimes the ocean can change. And um, honestly, it's it's a lot like life, you know, um, it'll humble you, you know, the ocean will humble you and, um, it's powerful and that's how life is, you know, as you go through life, you, you become more humbled by it and it, it helps you like surrender and like kind of give into the flow and you, you start to learn who you are and like accept that and just own it. And that's just a natural part of growing up. It's a natural part of life. And, um, if you resist it, it, it can cause a lot of problems for you, you know, and I feel like this person was in this state of resistance, but um, they're moving out of that now and they're uniting with their truth and um, they're developing this unconditional love for themselves and for other people. And because um, that's how it works, you know, the more love you develop for yourself, you have a further capacity to love others and um, to release judgments and um, you know, not care about what the outward appearance is. So like this person is just basically being humbled by life and um, with everything that's happened, I feel like that's kind of, you know, they don't judge you as much as you would think. There aren't as many bitter feelings as you think. They're just kind of where you're at. They're just hanging in there, trying to see where this, where this journey is taking them. They're very focused on establishing themselves. I feel like that's why I'm getting this cougar card for them. And, um, it's a message that keeps coming out in case you have any worries about it. Um, you know, and it could also, you know, the fact that they're establishing themselves also is speaking to... You know, they're going to become more mature and, and more able to open up, I feel like, in the future, but they're not there yet. And um, they're, they're still overwhelmed with what's happened. The storm is still on the horizon. It's not like, for them, it just, it's barely passed. They've barely gotten shelter and they've barely, like, gotten grounded after everything. And they still have this flame and this passion that burns for you, though. It's very interesting. There's a lot that happened here, I'm feeling. Um... <laughs> I just have to say, I feel like you're just going to laugh. You're just going to laugh when you hear that. <laughs> you're just going to be like, yup. That's how it goes sometimes. Um, where, where you are at with everything. <laughs> I just, yeah, I'm, I've been, I felt like this before on the journey, but, um, I just had an energy healing this morning that blew my mind from one of my friends, and so I'm just like totally chill right now, but look, I get you. I, I see where you're at here. You're very, you're freaking out, you know? It's a huge challenge for you right now, because you don't even understand how this is going to work out. Like, with everything that's happened and everything that's gone down, hopefully letting you in on his feelings here will help you a little bit, you know? Like, he's kind of understanding, but... You're just worried, you know, how is this all going to work out, you know, and you're worried about your finances or just like your lot in life and um, maybe it's connected to this person. You don't know how you're going to, you guys together are going to end up making it and how like realistic that is. Maybe they're far away from you. I just feel like, um, or maybe they're just on another plane mentally, you know what I mean? Like their focus really is on establishing themselves. They are in this huge transition. So um, you're in this place where you know, there's this challenge. You you have to focus on what's before you right now, and this person isn't, but um, you think about them a lot. You know, there's this cloud, and it comes, and it looms over you at times, and sometimes you're fine, and sometimes you've got this, and you're focused on, you know, your path, and other times it, this just comes and interrupts everything, but ultimately you're able to ground yourself, and you're able to, um, you know, remember that you're supplied for it, uh, for today and all your tomorrows and you you have your affirmations and your ways to stay grounded and I do feel like there's a lot of healing going into this situation but um you know I feel like you're in a different place than he is with this it's like he's just starting to resolve this and what happened and you've already done that it's just sometimes you're in this space of frustration and that's where you're at right now you're just like you're kind of frustrated and you want things to move forward <clears throat> now positive energy that's coming into the situation 
this is really, really great to see. Um, you're going to feel a lot more comfortable in the next, I'm going to say, upcoming weeks. And the number 12 came to me. I don't know what that was. I don't know if it's been like a number, like it's been 12 months since you've heard from them or you guys have had this thing going on for 12 years or perhaps there's this like year cycle that you're in or something. But 12 is coming and then 3 is also coming. So um, those are some numbers that are coming to mind. Although I'm not usually very good at time predictions, but I'm getting better, I hope. <laughs> so um, I do see that you're going to be able to surrender your will. Um, you are taking this step by step, but it's just exhausting. There's, a, there's this death here. You're ready to just let it go. And um, you're holding the light. And that is ultimately going to lead to a bright future. And I do see this as like union. You see these twins here? I see union. So um, they're saying hold the light. So this is positive energy coming into the situation. It's going to be easier for you. I don't know if there's going to be some events that transpire or something, but something's going to happen. Some energy's coming in that's going to help you. Um, and perhaps he's going to unblock his um, this communication. Maybe that will be unblocked. And um, I feel like maybe that's some positive energy that will give you some hope here. Um, let's hope. <laughs> what needs to be healed on his end? You know, they're saying to, to, to heal his end. You're going to freak out about this message that's coming through. But, um, I mean, look at this. Start delegating on the ecstasy card. I'm seeing... In order to heal this, he needs to just talk to you. He just needs to communicate. <laughs> it's like that simple. <laughs> That's what needs to happen here. Um, I don't usually see this. Usually I see like, oh, this person needs to let go of some trauma from their past and they need some time on their own. They're having, or they're having an awakening and like they need to just go through that and, or they, whatever. But I'm not seeing that here. I'm seeing this person point blank simply needs to just communicate um they need to communicate their true honest feelings because there are honest true feelings here i see this true love card i see this unconditional love card they, they they're just trying to hang in there um you know they just need to communicate with you that's it so what needs to be healed on your end um I don't know if they're saying anything really. I think they're trying. I think the message I'm getting from this is that you need to continue what you're doing. You know, you're helping others. You're, you're, you have this service, healing service you're offering to women. And this has brought you great fruit and it's going to continue to bring you abundance and completion and fulfillment here. And, um, and so I think that they're really like, don't, they're going to, you're going to continue to heal the more that you help these other people heal. And I've seen that in my path, you know, the more that I channel these messages and I just, it, it gets me to, to do tarot more and it, it keeps me accountable to my path so that I'm meditating, so that I'm balancing, so that I'm doing self-care, so that I can offer this, you know, and um, so I feel like that's what it's doing for you too. It's helping you balance, you know, and I also think um, that this is talking about karma. And so I'm thinking that there's something that's meant to be in this situation. And um, ultimately, there's going to be some completion here. So just hang on, you know? It's interesting. It's like, when usually I don't usually get these answers. When I ask what needs to be healed, usually Spirit's like, yes, finally, I'm going to lay it on them. And all these cards come out and like the clearance card comes out and like the meditation card and like the sacred space card. Like all, I have tons of healing cards, but I'm not seeing that here. I'm seeing he needs to reach out to you and you just need to keep doing what you're doing. You know, you just need to keep going. You just need to keep you know, offering these services to people because it's, it's like, you've done a lot of healing. It's not like you're done, but, um, it's going to help heal you more to continue this flow that you're in. Um, but also they're saying, maybe try to celebrate your life more. I'm also seeing that here. They're saying just, 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 if you have any confusion about what it is you're supposed to be doing right now, you're doing the right thing, but you need to like take a load off and celebrate more. Like, party more is actually your message so you know enjoy that one because i don't give that one up very often usually i'm telling people party less like you know dial it back you know spend some time in solitude 
Um, but I see you need to get out more. You need to party. You need to really enjoy um, where you're at in your life. You have a lot to celebrate. You have a lot of success heading um, into your life and around you. Now, let's see. His feelings towards you. Um, I'm going to pull a clarification card. Give me a second from my personal deck. I don't know why I didn't pull one for this. Hang on. Because this is the question that matters. Drum roll. Hang on. Okay. Okay, this makes sense now. This is like a story now. Okay, so his feelings towards you. So this is once again just telling you like that it is supposed to be that you guys are in this separation right now. Like right now, for whatever reason, it is just helping him to be away from you and separated and it's a foundation for his strength and his success, you know? Um and I feel like they feel like they like this is a message that keeps coming out. They just barely got over what happened between you guys. I feel like a lot of time has happened has, has transpired um, between the last time you guys had communication and like whatnot since everything went down. And I think that it's actually taken them a while to be able for this, you know, ice to um, snow to thaw and for them to be able to get their footing again. And now they're looking out towards the future. They're thinking, you know, I need to be alone for some more time. But at the same time, they're like, I trust. I trust in my journey and where it's taken me. And I trust in these skills I have and like that I've gone out to do this. And I trust that, you know, everything's going to work out. So somehow, some way, they just believe it's all going to work out. And that's kind of what they're riding on right now. That's the hope that's carrying them through this time. Because um, they are on a transition and transitions can be a very difficult time to navigate. You know, everything seems uncertain, you know. And I just feel like that's what's happening here. And so, um, that's what, that's, that's how they feel, you know, they do have strong feelings towards you, but right now it's more about like, they're just trying to trust in their path. Now, this is advice from spirit. <laughs> so, okay. Okay, this is a message. Um, they're saying they know you feel insecure and they know you just feel tied down and, and like you're just like, what am I supposed to do, you know, in this situation? I just feel like that's something you've said. It's just like, what do you want me to do? And you just feel like you can't get an answer. Well, I feel like this is the answer right here, okay? Um, they, of course, they want you to continue what you're doing. They want you to continue this is you. You have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. I got this card for you again. So they're like, just, you have to keep going. But at the same time, they're also saying, you will know when it's time to reach out to this person. Um, at some point, that's what you're going to have to do. Um, this person is gaining those skills of being able to speak for themselves and they're learning their truth and they're in this transition, but I feel like there's going to be a time where you're going to get a message and I don't know if it's going to come through a dream. I don't know if it's going to come through your cards or just through your intuition or whatever, like you'll, something will happen, but, um, you're going to get this message that it's time to reach out and you're just going to have to trust your gut and, um, you might just want to like just ask like how they're doing or whatever how they're they've been but you're gonna have to you're gonna reconnect and when i get this card yeah it says reach out to that new friend but um i put it in my deck because i was um doing a lot of networking and i was trying to i just put it in there to see like you know if it would come out sometimes and it did it helped me actually connect with some really awesome people i ended up making some art with and working some jobs with and it was cool. It helped give me guidance for that. But lately, and a lot of times, this card has been coming up for, um, you know, in love readings when someone needs to reach out. And so um, I'm taking that as the message here that you're supposed to reach out and um, you're going to have to wait until you feel more in alignment. Because right now you've got this challenge energy around you. You've got this morning card. It would probably not be good if you reached out right now. 
Um, but you're going to have to wait and they're, you're going to need to reach out and speak your truth, you know, speak your truth to this person. So, um, maybe this is to help you kind of prepare, but it's going to be some time. I feel like this isn't going to be something that, that changes overnight, this transition. This person needs more time and so do you. So just trust yourself here. And, um... And I wonder if you've already gotten this message. Let me know if you have. Let me know if you've already gotten this message um, about how you're going to be the one to reach out. Now, um, these cards flew out of the deck for you. This one, I thought it was cool. This one flew out and then this one flew out from the other deck. So, <laughs> keep on keeping on seems to be the message I'm getting for you today. Um, they're, they're just saying you are going through a transformation, but hey, look out for your blessings. Celebrate your blessings, girlfriend, okay? They're saying you need to celebrate your blessings and more blessings will come to you. So don't be afraid, like, if things are seeming kind of, like, at a standstill or you're like, what's next? Just know there's more blessings coming and um, stay dedicated to your path. There's, they know that you've tried every which way to move forward in this situation, but you're going to have to find a really creative way to reach out to this person and to, to kind of put this back together. Um, but then again, it's not really you who's going to put this back together. It's just, you're going to have to continue forward here with trust. This person does actually have a lot of trust and I feel like that's what's healing this relationship currently. I don't know if you feel that. Try to tap into that energy because for some reason they just, they trust and I feel like that's why they walked away. They walked away in, in trust and with faith and that's what you need to find here is find faith and find your trust. Um... And I think that just continue, continue on this path. Um, I'm going to read you this page from the book because it's so beautiful. I feel like this is the message I really want to leave you with. Um, As you go through this period of change, it's natural for you to wonder if your future is safe. I'm here to assure you that you're part of nature's cycles of birth, death, and rebirth. To bring in your desired newness, you must first allow parts of your life to fall away. These changes are to be celebrated, not feared. Give thanks for the shedding of the old. Embrace all of the lessons it brought and then let it go. Be giddy with excitement at the newness of the gifts that are now being bestowed upon you and let their magic surprise and delight you. So, I hope that this reading helps you. And if anyone else watched this reading and it resonated, then leave comments and let me know. And um, check out the description below if you want to book me for a reading. Peace out.